Hey everyone, welcome to Scum of the Earth. I'm Chris. I'm Andy. And today we're going to be looking at a game that is available on Kickstarter on May 1st. This is XO1. The dev reached out to us and asked us to do a video, and it looks interesting. Uh, Take some cues from Stanley Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey. So let's jump in. Uh, if you want to see what the Kickstarter is all about after watching this video, then click the link in the description below. The signal came out of nowhere. It points in empty space light years from any star. After decades of searching the skies, mankind knew it was no longer alone in the universe. We called them the Senders. Their transmission contained plans for a spherical exoplanetary probe. We named it XO-1. I want to call it Wacky Ball. The XO-1 mission has fascinated historians for generations. What was its purpose? Who were the senders? And why did they give us this technology? All we know for certain is that the pilot of humanity's first manned exoplanetary probe never returned. I guess it wasn't return to sender. Susie, if you still love me, tie a ribbon round the old oak tree. I guess the only thing hanging from that oak tree will be you, Brad. <laughs> Release the drive, B. Holy. Look how oh, fast dude, he this, can go. This dude lied to us. He lied to us, Andy. This dude said he was making a space game. He just made marble madness. Oh, this is tribes. Woo! Oh no. That. Are we invading Babo? Shazbot. Are we a mad ball and we're gonna <laughs> invade Babo? I'm a pretty mad ball, yeah. Dude, if you covertly wanted to remake Marble Madness, then you should have let me in on the ground floor, man. I have some ideas. Test beta achieved. Uh, we have a spiking energy rating. Emergency shutdown procedures kill power. And after the wormhole closed, the pilot was never seen again. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Chris. At the time, I've been Andy. Had little well, I still am. Of the workings of wormholes. Science fiction usually depicted them as instantaneous doorways. However, what our unwilling pilot found was exactly the opposite. This first trip lasted days, and unfortunately, the worst was yet to come. We get transported to the satellite of love, and we have Despite to watch cheesy movies. Despite extensive testing of communications prior to launch, all contact with X-01 was lost. The pilot was completely cut off. Back home, mission control was baffled by the unexpected departure. Even worse, the senders were nowhere to be found. There was no welcoming committee, no landing pad, or any signs of life. First contact, as far as we know, was never made. Just a stack of vanilla Oreos and a Dixie After cup full down, of the purple the stuff. Pilot picked up an unknown energy signature, then made the following report. Anomaly spotted, a blue beam of light originating on the horizon, projecting into the upper atmosphere. Unclear whether man-made or natural in origin. Okay, so now that that goofball shut his damn trap, we can talk about this game. Uh, I guess you Shut just your trap, goofball. No! I, I guess- Oh, it was a big spoon. Check out that big spoon. I'm, I'm trying. Here, let me just increase the gravity. We made a video game inside of a Brian Eno song, people. We did it. Congratulations are in order. We specifically made this game to fool magicians. Shit, no, wait. I mean, this looks this looks pretty cool. How's it feel? How's it handle? Feels pretty- I mean, you're moving really fast. Pretty great. I mean, it's a little hard, but not like... Like, it's pretty, it's pretty damn good physics, I'm not gonna lie. Is this the Sonic the Hedgehog game we've all been waiting for, but no one's had the guts to make till now? No, this is red. This is blood Sonic. Inferno the Hedgehog, do not steal. Oh, am I running out of energy? I just want to get on that spoon. Get on that spoon. I'm trying no, to. No, you get more energy the faster you go. No, it, it's, it says jump requires energy, see? Check out 
It's like a crater that's in the air. Oh, I'm supposed to be going towards that blue light, huh? Yeah. I wanted to see that tree, though. Oh, the 3D sound's kind of good, too. The puddle of piddle that used to be little is rising around you. It's rising around you. Did I? Oh, there it is. You're hopeless, Andy. So, oh, pretty good. Pretty good graphics. Oh, shit. Pretty good balls. Whoa, what the f I'm not a ball at all. You're like that, uh, clay spheroid from that claymation game name I can't remember. Remember it's the, the guys who made um, Clay Fighter. They, they did a, uh, a side scroller? Funny reference if I remembered anything about it, but that's that's gone. So let's just talk about Booger Man. So graphically this looks gorgeous too. Hold on. What are... Um So your ball is is what bending and, and moving is that is that in proportion to your speed or anything or oh no you're actually hitting shift okay and then you can, you can kind of fly like a disc that's pretty cool and then someone's gonna try and shoot you with an NES zapper oh this is gonna be fun increase gravity Whoa, shit. Now, I, I I do think this game looks interesting, and I, I, I'm i interested to see what the Kickstarter is going to be all about. A little upset that he took influence from 2001 Space Odyssey. I would have much rather seen a science fiction, a hard sci-fi series, take some inspiration from Barry Lyndon. So, but you you're still what? a ball. Yeah, just slap a powdered wig on that ball. Maybe you're a ball that's been shot from an old-timey pistol. You know how they, they, you, they, 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 they load in ball bearings instead of like yeah. the more modern-shaped bullets? And you're going to bury yourself... It was all they had, Chris. <laughs> bury yourself in the knee meat of some Scotsman. We're just balls who want to be grown up. Oh no. Is the terrifying secret of this is that we're Dorbies. We live in the space between spaces. On the subatomic level, everything breaks down to a world of ghosts and shadows. The hedgehog, Shadow, he can really move. Shadow, he's got an attitude. Shadow, he's the fastest thing alive. That song was written and recorded by Coop DeVille. Oh, check that out. Okay, now watch this shit. So this is Marble Madness meets Tony Hawk set in the Halo universe, is what I'm seeing. Okay, so it looks like increasing gravity, I don't think, takes any energy. We should we should come up with some different names for this game. I want to call it Guilty Sparks Wrecking Balls. I want to call it XO2. Did you get hit by lightning? Yeah, but it's not a big deal. Are you like building up so much kinetic energy that like the lightning is 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 like directed to you? Maybe. I don't know anything about physics. Or anything really. I've seen Barry Lyndon, that's one thing you know about me. <laughs> Eventually, X01 would arrive at what the pilot referred to as transport monoliths. Which How would you know? The second planet, no way. You, ne you never, he never, he was never seen again. 
How would you know, dude? Did you leave a fucking blog? More like a blob. <laughs> Ball with a blog. Now on Toon Disney. I may look like a normal ball, but I have a blog. My family doesn't know about it. Chris would like to stop making jokes about this terrible show because I don't- that's all I got. That, like, there's no more to expand on that. This bit is a graveyard. It is a barren wasteland. Oh, look who's in buried in the graveyard, Andy! Look at that headstone on the- I'm gonna- I'm gonna wipe the dust off of it and the vines- <gasps> Here lies masturbation, Eric! It is a graveyard. Do you think maybe the fact we have too many callback jokes to the hundreds of videos we've made might be a huge detriment for new viewers to get into the no, show? No, I think it's more that you just keep bringing up Masturbation Eric. That one callback. Holy sh- Oh, cool. So we just got shot in a Unicron's eye and we saved the day. We got the touch. We have the power. Yeah. After all is said and done, we're a ball. There's no need to run. Exo one prematurely exited the second wormhole somewhere in deep space. Drifting helplessly, the pilot somehow held out for hours, days, and weeks. The mental toll inflicted during this time with nothing but empty void must have been severe. And then they were attacked by the Gem Hadar. Who's in that bigger sphere, Goldicott? How we came upon the second planet so long after leaving the wormhole is unknown. If this was the intended target, why did we exit so far from it? At certain points on its journey, blank spots appear in X1's logs. Typically lasting hours, X1's data was either completely lost or corrupted beyond retrieval. So what's the scoring system here? Do you like collect letters? This is about how many combos you can pull off. Oh, look at all those numbers I got. Pretty high score. Oh, there's that monolith. Grind on it. Very little was ever recorded by the pilot in relation to the monoliths. Sensor data seems to indicate contact with the structures. However, the pilot rarely made notes before or after visiting. In the 20th and 21st centuries, it was common practice for pilots and astronauts to adopt a policy called lie to fly, whereby any potentially troubling reports would be omitted through fear they may be grounded for psychological reasons. But I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. You're grounded, grounded, grounded. Here I am, Starting to think this doing all the things I can, attending I'm a superman. I'm starting to think this pilot's just bad at his job, and he just doesn't like taking notes. Saw a big old black thing, uh, got struck by lightning a few times, and then the sky turned into a Pink Floyd album cover, so, yeah, I think I'm done here. I'm gonna put Danger Zone back on and just kinda tune the world out. data file has been of particular interest to those who study Exo-1's historic mission. Time stamped at some point on the second planet, the pilot makes mention of voices and their daughter's name. The file, it is argued, was corrupted. Others claim it was deleted after the fact. Some speculate it was a mere voice log. Some say it was struck by lightning! How's it gonna turn out like nah I don't wanna ruin the ending. I know what the senders are though. You know what the ending is of this demo. I know the ending of this demo. Thank you thank you for playing. Please donate to the Kickstarter if you can. I'm gonna turn oh. into one of those superheated nickel balls. What the There's a first person mode? From the maker of Tom Clancy's Hawks comes Tom Clancy's Ball. We don't give a fuck about his legacy anymore.
Well, we did it, everyone. We perfectly one-to-one -one mapped David Byrne's brain. So when does Ben Margera come out and tell us to like spray paint his name on like the mayor's sign or something? When does Ben Franklin tell us how to like rob an ice cream truck? This is pretty freaky, man. This is like... This feels crazy. I keep expecting Yardawaski to come out and explain what this game actually means. Or he explains what the game would have been. What the game would Well, he, he, he he's just like, pointing at pictures. He's like, yeah, they didn't give me enough money on my Kickstarter. I needed $14 billion. <laughs> Shit. No. We, we hired Salvador Dali for some concept art, and he said he wanted to be paid a million dollars an hour. And he wanted that giraffe? A giraffe. Chris has only ever seen one documentary. What does this remind you of? Like this, this, like I get this weird sensation. Like I've seen this before, you know? And not a game, but like a, I don't know. Like in a dream. Every time I close my eyes, this is where I go. This is very relatable for the viewers. They're like, oh, I, I don't get that joke. I need to go back to an earlier episode. And it's like, oh, yeah, this no. reminds me of my dream. And it's like, oh, yeah, I need to go back to Chris's memories. But no, now they know. Now later when I mention, like, the kind of weird alien landscapes I see whenever I close my eyes because of the strange government experiments I assume I was a part of, but have no strong recollection of, they can just watch this video and go like, oh, okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. I guess it's time to leave this planet? Wait, did I overshoot it? It's like I'm right on top of it. So we're, okay, prediction. We enter the second pylon. Hands out, this entire planet is shaped like Yoshi's face. I think that's it right there, dude. I'm going towards it, but... It's I, weird. So you can't exit the first person mode? You're, you're stuck in it? I guess so. I think that's like... Maybe each level has like its own quirk. Better than each level having its own quirk. I've had my hands tied up with just one of them. Hi, Modo. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Well, it's a better ending than the original Quake. I'll give it that. So this has been XO1. Uh, it looks interesting. I mean, yeah. I always like supporting cool games that are on Kickstarter. And... From what Andy says, it feels really cool. Uh, to me, it looks really cool. Is it a cool game or a fool game? <laughs> Cool's gold. That, that needs to be our new rating system. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, if, if it seems like something you, you'd like to support or you want more information, uh, the link to the Kickstarter is in the description uh, below. The Kickstarter for this game should be up today. So, you know, check it out. Kick a few bucks if you want to see more like this. I'd like to see different levels, different uh, physics, puzzles, stuff like that. Let's just see what they can do with this really interesting uh, gameplay engine they've, they've made for themselves. And graphically, it looks really good. So, we'll see you in the stars. Second star of the right. And straight on till the morning. Ba 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 da 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 da. This is a Star Trek song. Star Trek song. Star Trek. Star Trek. It's such a groovy track. 
He's not going to stop. Just we're turn in, off the we're video. We're in space and we're going to places people haven't been before. Do, 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 Except do. for the people who live Travels there. And Klingons too. Oh my gosh, there's a Romulan. He's my mom that makes him a Momulan. Do, 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 do. Jurassic Park. This is the rest of the Dinosaurs video. Dinosaurs and... I guess we only made dinosaurs, no other monsters. This video is four hours long. I wonder what... Oh, huh. That's weird. They already finished the game within the first 30 minutes. I wonder what the rest is. Oh, thank God it got him to stop. Okay, good night. Bye. And you know that my heart is Jurassic Park. What's the theme song of Lord of the Rings? Lord, Lord, Lord of the Rings. Lord, 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 Lord of the, the Rings. Rings. Lord, 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 Lord of the Rings. It's the Lord, Lord, Lord of the Rings. Rings.